So now, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to do the exact same process we did before, except here you can see that now my divisor is a binomial. It's not just one single monomial, right? It's not just a number. It's now a binomial. So when, we're doing a, when you're doing division of polynomials, you're only going to divide the first term of your, poly, of your divisor. Okay? Now, to understand what your first term is, make sure that it's in descending order. For instance, what if my divisor was x squared minus 2x plus 2? Do you guys see how this is in descending order? Because the exponent, that's the degree, right? That's in standard form. So your divisor, only would on, you'd only divide the first term. Does that make sense? Yeah. This, again. When your divisor, you're only going to divide the first term. But you have to make sure your divisor is in standard form, meaning the exponents are in descending order. 2, 1, 0. So therefore, you'd only, you only use the first one. Just make sure it's in standard form. Because you guys can see in the next box, those are, a bino that's a qu those are two quadratics, right? So you have to only use the x squared. You wouldn't use any other form. All right. So now, when we're going to divide, we're only going to divide our x. So we're going to say x divides into x fourth. I am astounded by how many students do wrong answers but don't check their work. Ladies and gentlemen, if you don't understand how many times x divides into x to the fourth, then just write it to the side. How many times does x divide into x to the fourth? Well, we did our rules of exponents. Goes in there x to the third times. It's a little bit extra work, but please take your time. x divides into x to the fourth x cubed times. Now we have to make sure, though, we multiply our quotient times both of the terms in the divisor. So you only divide by the first term, but you multiply back both of the terms. So in doing that, I now get a x to the fourth minus 2x cubed, which we have an issue, right? There's no x cubed in there. OK? All right? Do you guys agree with me? So when doing division, um, what I recommend is if you guys have a missing term, just use 0x cubed. Because what's 0x cubed? Zero. 0, right? So it, it just used that as a place value. So you guys have two other problems that have stuff like that. Um, you can write it in once you notice it. You can rewrite the problem. Or you can just think of, the, just kind of quickly write in the 0 there so you know that that 0 exists. All right? Now, yes? Do, do you have to write the 0? Or can you just know it? You can just know it. You can just know it. Right. You don't have to write the 0. All right, so now we subtract the rows. But please remember, guys, you're not just subtracting numbers. You're subtracting a, you're subtracting a binomial. So you're subtracting both of these terms. So what I mean by that is x to the fourth minus x to the fourth is just 0 x to the fourth, which is 0. Here, it's 0 x cubed minus a negative. Minus a negative would give you a positive 2x cubed. I'll show you an easier way to, so you don't make as many mistakes. Now we go back again. x divides into 2x cubed. Yes? Then. So x divides into 2x cubed, 2x squared times. Now I multiply this times both of them. 2x squared times x is going to give you a 2x cubed. 2x squared times negative q gives you a negative 4x squared. Now, one thing I want you guys to remember, if I was going to be subtracting it and I said 5 minus 4, do you guys agree with me that I can rewrite any subtraction problem as an addition problem? Does that make sense? So guess what? From now on, I am going to show it using the addition method. Rather than subtracting the rows, which everybody always makes mistakes on, I am going to now add the negative. So instead of subtracting, I am going to add, but I'm going to make sure I negate both of my terms. Does that make sense? See what I did here? Instead of subtracting, I added and negated. 
Instead of subtracting, I added and negated. Does everybody see what I did? It's the same thing. Add and negate or subtract. However, everybody makes mistakes on subtracting. So you know what? I'm just going to start doing adding and, adding and uh, negating. So you get the same answers. 2x cubed plus negative 2x cubed is 0x cubed. I don't have anything to add to this 4x squared. Oh, it's right up there. So I bring it down. Negative 7x squared. Negative 7x squared plus 4x squared is negative 3x squared. <coughs> now we do the same process all over again. x divides into negative 3x squared. Hopefully you guys understood what I did here and what I did there. So therefore, you guys can see it's going to go into their negative 3x times. Question? Question? All right. So negative 3, you've got to make sure you multiply that by both terms. So negative 3x squared times x is going to give you a negative 3x squared. Negative 3x times 2 is going to give you a negative 6x. Rather than subtracting the rows, I am going to add and negate. So instead of subtracting, instead of saying I'm going to subtract the rows, I'm going to add and negate. That means make the opposite sign. Negative 3x squared plus 3x squared is 0x squared. Is there a question? Yes. Uh, the negative 3x times negative 2 is a matter of positive 6x. Where? Then you, the, negative 3 times negative. That would have been a positive. Yes, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. So that would have been a negative, right? Good job. Thank you. So therefore, that gives me a 3x. Zero x squared is just 0. Now we do it one last time. x divides into 3x how many times? Guys, <coughs> x divides into 3x how many times? Three times. Please write out these divisions if you're having trouble with them. It goes another three times. 3 times x is 3x. 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. Rather than subtracting, I'm going to add and negate. Therefore, I have 0 and negative 10 plus 6 is going to be negative 4. So that is my remainder. If you're going to write your answer, you always do your quotient. Yes, question? You can finish. OK, you always do your quotient plus your remainder over your divisor. And that would be your answer. OK, so um, the first thing you did when it's like the positive 0x and the third, and then you subtracted 2x and third, the first yeah, right there, how is it a positive 2x if you're subtracting from 0? Because you're subtracting a negative oh, okay. minus a negative. Okay, or you could also, if I remember, remember I said, <coughs> change it to a positive and negate it. So it would have been plus a positive 2, which still would have given you 2. Okay, That's why I just like doing adding and negating rather than subtracting. 